What's up guys? I am assuming this clip is gonna go at the beginning of my video for our first ultrasound, but I also just want to give a quick update of what we did today. So today is October, I mean August, what's the date? <laughs> Uh, 23. So today is August 23rd and we went for our first doctor's appointment ever. Not with the OBGYN, just my family doctor uh, to find out like how far along I am, do urine tests, blood tests, all that kind of stuff. Get my prenatal vitamins because I, since we weren't trying, I wasn't on prenatals. So I got that prescribed as well as stuff for morning sickness in case the time comes because, you know, we have a friend's wedding and stuff and I just don't want to like ruin the day and be nauseous. So I'd rather, you know, be safe than sorry. And uh, right Right now Dan is making some salad for us, which looks so yummy, and Boo's right here, I'm scratching his arm. Hi Boo Bear, I love you. So everything seemed to go really well. I'm pretty early I think, it's only like five weeks, which is the size of a peppercorn. <laughs> yeah, once I get those tests back, I will update you guys with those results. I'm supposed to go back on September 3rd, or September, yeah, September 3rd, so I'll let you guys know. Okay, this is actually very exciting, but it's the morning of our first OBGYN appointment. Oh my God, Boo. <laughs> what are you doing? Boo? Boo, why are you staring at that? Silly. And it's also the first appointment we're gonna have our ultrasound, which is so exciting. We've been waiting for this for a long time. A lot of people go on like their eight week appointment to do this, but our OB was very, very busy, and so we can only get an appointment for today, and I think I'm around 10 weeks, according to my app, but then according to the doctors that we went to, like my actual um, GP, I'm further along, so I don't know. I don't even know how far along I am. That's how frustrating this has been. All I know is that I'm pretty sure I'm like right around the second trimester because I'm feeling so much better. I'm feeling like I'm starting to get my energy back, which is great. I was so tired the first like trimester and just so sick like not i never actually got sick but i felt sick all the time i had so many food aversions and weird cravings and nausea and it was just <laughs> not the funnest time but i'm feeling so much better i'm excited to see the heart or not to see but to hear the heartbeat to see what's going on down there a little bit nervous too because i don't know like it doesn't feel real yet, even though I know I've had two blood tests already and both came back like progressing along the pregnancy. It just doesn't feel real. And Dan is also very, very excited for this appointment. And then the best part about this is that we can finally tell our family and friends. That has been the hardest thing is keeping that from everyone. Yeah, we're very excited for this like new chapter of our lives and I cannot wait to see what this GP is, not GP, OB is all about. And I'll obviously update you guys, let you know <laughs> how far along we are. And I know also you can find out the gender pretty early on, like around 12 weeks. You just do like a special test. I don't know if they do that here in Montreal. I've just watched a ton of YouTubers that have done that test. So if we are able to do that, I would love to be able to do that. Um, Dan and I definitely want to know the gender. We're not going to wait until we give birth. We are very, very impatient and curious. And I always thought it had to wait till 20 weeks, but according to so many other people online, you don't have to. So I'm going to see. We don't mind waiting till 20 weeks, but it would be really cool to find out earlier. And yeah, I'm wearing super comfy clothes because I do not care about like dressing up. I already did my makeup, which I feel like is a lot for me, um, especially since I've just been so drained. Oh gosh, I'm just so excited. I can't wait. We're leaving in around a little bit less than an hour, so let's go. Guys, I'm wearing a freaking smock and it just covers the front side. <laughs> Oh my god, for a split second, I heard you it. You heard it, huh? Mm -hmm. It has a heartbeat. It's real. 173, there you go. Hi. It's real. We heard Wait, it. Wait, 173? Yeah. Doesn't that mean it's a girl? Not necessarily, because <laughs> at the beginning, they're all fast. Okay, because okay. I was going to say, 
I always heard that over 140 means a girl. Well, it's well, a myth. Later on, but you know what? The other thing is later. Okay, guys, so a little update. That was kind of confusing because we just didn't know what to expect. I figured it was going to be the ultrasound where you can like see everything, but we actually do that in two weeks. And then this one is just to hear the heartbeat and to see if I'm pregnant, like all that kind of stuff. She said, which we did hear, obviously, that you saw. She said we could have done an ultrasound today. Oh, actually, no, because the office was closed. Um, but if he was there, we could have. If he was there, we could have, but she said it's not really worth it at this point because we're doing one in 13 days and we're going to get way more information at that one. And then I it would have cost money to yeah, do. Yeah, we would have been paying extra to do one that doesn't really do anything. Right, it was more just to get like the photo of the actual like baby. It felt so low when she impatient. was doing it. Yeah. It was like on my pubic bone. <laughs> but, oh, it feels real now. It was now. so cute. She was like moving it, moving it, moving it, and then all of a sudden it was like. <laughs> it took a while though, I was getting nervous. No, she said, she literally said the first thing, she's like, sometimes it takes a long time. But yeah, I can't wait to actually see it. So obviously we're gonna, literally in two seconds for you guys is gonna be the next. Um, we'll be at the next clinic at the next doctor's appointment. We're, we're about to call to make our appointment right now. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, this morning we're off to our first ultrasound appointment. We're so excited. We know officially that it's the ultrasound today. We get to see the baby. Um, Hopefully everything goes okay. We're also doing blood tests to find out the gender. And that's also really exciting. When we get those test results back, we're gonna do like a baby gender reveal party. So that's in the works and we're so excited. So we are gonna head off right now. And we're gonna start with this. So the heartbeat, okay? Oh my god, I can actually see it. One hundred and sixty one beats per minute, so that's wonderful. Oh, so, baby skin. Baby. Yeah. Uh, we have here your bladder. So pull see how the baby's lying directly on your bladder. Uh-huh. So that's why the visits to the bathroom are so often. Oh, that makes sense yeah. every night. Yeah. Can you see? Alex? Yeah, I can see. Uh, relax your tummy. There you go. The baby's about 20 to 22 centimeters deep. Wow. So it's really nice and comfortable on your bladder. What we're going to do is measure the baby from the top of its head to the bum bum. So we're looking at here 6.3 centimeters. Oh, so, so yeah, but we have to add the legs to that. So we're looking between 10 and 11 centimeters from head to toe. So that tells you that you're 12 weeks and five days. Wow. So exactly like your last period, which means every Thursday you change your week. So I was right. Yeah, yeah we were right on. Yeah. 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 On Thursday is 13 weeks. Oh my goodness. Yeah. See the little arm here? Oh my God. Yeah. And when we're looking at here, we have the brain. Whoa. See, that's the top view of the head. Oh. I see a little line in between the yeah. two answers. Wow. Oh, God bless. That's what we like to see. Yeah. It's so The cool. brain is present. We're happy. <laughs> what happens as a teenager, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to add color. And what you see here is circulation within the heart. Whoa. So it's always the two colors. Whoa. Present. Yeah. Oxygenation and the oxygenation. That's so cool. And there's the cord going inside the tummy of the baby. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes. Red and blue there too. So we have the arteries and the veins. Wow. So, yeah, baby is moving around. So I'm going to try to do this like this. So maybe that's the flutters you've been feeling. Is yeah. It's moving. Yeah, what? because posterior placenta, mom tends to feel the, the flutters earlier, but the cord stretches between 20 and 23 weeks. Oh. So that's why everything is so old. Oh my God, yeah. you see the hands. Yeah. See the little legs? They always look like oh little frog legs. Oh my lights. god, how is and this? This is so cool. Little hands in front of its face. Do we get pictures of this too? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. I'm gonna move your bowels around a little bit. So we're gonna try to make a wave around the baby so it wakes the baby up. Technically, they sleep 20 hours a day. So wow. the left hand by the nose. Hmm. Oh my god. Right here. And there's the right hand. Oh, it's moving. Oh my yeah. god. Dad, are you <gasps> yeah. This is so oh my god. See this area here? It's the heart. Wow. And the heart itself is like four millimeters. It's fluttering. Oh my yeah. god, it's so little. Wow. The little full power that's drinking. Oh my god. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Look at the mouth. Oh my god. 
Wow. Just, just say conference, please. Uh, yeah. Um, Alexandra is the first name, and the last name is Sentomo. Uh, C e n t o m o. What are the names? Okay, wait. Can I, wait before you say anything? We we don't want to know the gender over the phone. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, the good news for you, for the good reason, it is low probability. Low okay. Risk. Okay. But uh, the result it is one on ten thousand. One in ten thousand. And that's G O H. Okay, guys. So as you saw, we got our test results back from our harmony test that we did. And we got the gender, but we're not gonna check what it is. She sent it to us over email and we printed it out without looking. So I'm gonna put that in an envelope and then we're gonna go bring it to the balloon store. I'm so freaking excited to find out. Like everything went so well. They told us we have the best news possible when it comes to the test, like best case scenario. Obviously nothing is 100%, but I mean, we'll take what we get. We just want a healthy baby. So like in the end, boy, girl, doesn't matter. I'm so excited, so is Dan, and let us know in the comments what you think it is. I'm so curious. People in my life are either certain it's a girl or certain it's a boy, so, and I have no idea. I literally have zero clue and I don't care. So I wanna know your thoughts. Bye guys.